Good morning. Today is day one of my pre-op diet. I went to bed actually a little hungry and today I am so nervous. I'm going to take my before pictures and have my very first protein shake. Okay, I got my first day all planned. You want to say hi girls? Say hi Ruby! <laughs> So I have one protein shake for breakfast, one for lunch. I have a small green salad with a tiny bit of Italian dressing in that container. I have a bag of carrots for snacks. I can no longer use my regular nasal spray, so I have just regular saline spray to use. And then I've got a bunch of flavored water packets. Bring on the day. Good morning, today is day two. There's my Nelly. Yesterday was brutal. I was so hungry. I forgot to snap or show you guys what I was eating for dinner, but Colton made me some chicken and I had a sugar-free jello and a salad with light Italian dressing. And then we went over to my mom's so we could scan our passports and IDs and send them over to my coordinator. And my mom made me some chicken and some cucumbers. I got home and I was still so hungry, which is so weird. Hi, Miss Poof. And, <laughs> and so I had another protein shake. I also didn't have any nasal spray. I'm totally addicted to it. So all I could use was the Simply Saline. I had a really rough night. I'm so tired. I could hardly breathe. And yeah, but I'm ready for day two. Um, so let's see how it goes. So today I have two protein shakes. Once again, one for breakfast, one for lunch. I have a green salad and some more Italian dressing. I have two hard-boiled eggs, one that I'm going to eat for breakfast and the other one that I'm going to put on my salad for lunch. I have a bag of carrots for snacks and my Simply Saline. So this is pre-op day three. I got two protein shakes, hard-boiled eggs for snacks and some egg drop soup. They're also providing salads at work. I ordered a sandwich. Um, because I didn't know I was going to be having the surgery. So I'm hoping that someone will trade me. Um, but yeah, if not, I will be having this today for breakfast and lunch. Today is pre-op day four. Here is what I have packed. I have a protein shake for breakfast, one for lunch. I brought two hard boiled eggs as snacks. This is six ounces of ground turkey rinsed. So it does not have as much grease in it with a little bit of taco seasoning. And then at work yesterday, I ended up not having to eat my egg drop soup, so I left that there, and I will eat that today. Five. So I have protein shake for breakfast, protein shake for lunch. I have a bag of carrots for snacks. This is a bag of chicken. It's a little over six ounces. And then I have two hard-boiled eggs. Hi, guys. It's BSG JC. I'm driving right now, so I apologize that I'm not going to always be looking at the camera. Um, but I'm going to try and follow safety regulations as much as possible. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you about my pre-op diet so far. I'm on day five. It's been so hard. The head hunger is so real. Um, especially at work. On Wednesday, we had our month-end lunch, and they brought in box lunches. And I had ordered my lunch before I knew that I was going to have this surgery on this date. So I ordered a sandwich, and... They had extra salads, but it just really didn't sound appetizing. So I ate the sandwich and then just spit out the bread. I'm sure I got a little bit of it, but I mostly, I mostly didn't eat it. And then yesterday they had birthday treats. So at, after month end lunch, the next day we do birthday treats. They usually bring in like all kinds of gourmet pastries. But since most people are on our company fitness challenge, they decided to bring in a ton of fresh fruit like pineapple, watermelon, um, grapes, all kinds of good stuff with vanilla ice cream that's sugar free. 
and then they brought in like whipped cream and then they also brought in um, like the fruit popsicles and the drumstick ice creams which are my favorite so I didn't have any of those I went into the meeting and I just sat there and I I drank my protein shake like a good person um, but it just seems like every day they're celebrating something. It was someone's birthday on Monday, so they had like a bunch of cupcakes and donuts and uh, fruit and yeah, it's just, it's been really hard. Um, all my coworkers have been so sweet. They're like trying not to eat bad things in front of me. Um, they're encouraging me. Um, my one coworker, he's hilarious. He just, I guess he just doesn't quite understand the diet I'm doing. So he'll ask questions. He'll be like, can you have this? And I'll be like, no. So yesterday he asked me, he's like, can you have a brownie? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, what about 1 20th of a brownie? No, I still can't have that either. But that was very sweet of him for asking. But yeah, they've all been very supportive. Um, we're doing this new Mario Kart challenge. So they've given out candy and stuff like that. I've been really good to give my candy away. Um, the hard thing for me is I'm like, okay, well, this is great. Maybe I'll just eat some gum, um, sugar-free gum. But then I want to swallow my gum because that's a bad habit that I've always had. But I can no longer swallow my gum after this. So it's been a change. It's been really hard. I'm so thankful for Colton. He's been so helpful. And he's been just putting up with me when I've been a complete beast. I've been so hangry. I come home. I'm annoyed. Uh, yesterday I was just emotional for no reason. I just wanted to cry. Um, so yeah, there's that. I just thought I'd give you guys an update so far. But I'm doing really good. I'm really proud of myself. I've lost two pounds, which may not seem like a lot to you guys, but I've struggled losing any weight no matter what I do. So that's really exciting. I was really worried that if I didn't lose the weight, the doctor would not perform the surgery. But so far I'm down two pounds. I still have two more days to go this week. And then next week, um, I'll make another video so that you guys can see. And hopefully next week I'll be better at it because I'll kind of know what to have. And I'll be better at recording my dinners. Um, but yeah, thanks. See you guys in a bit. Hi guys, today is day seven. And let's take... Hey guys, I'm here in the break room at work, so people probably think I'm kind of crazy, but I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this journey so far. It's been so much harder than I ever thought was possible. Um, on Friday, I actually went home from work early because I thought I was going to pass out, and it's just kind of hard when you don't really have a ton of support. My boyfriend kind of goes on and off whether he wants to support me or not. Some days he's really happy to go to go shopping for it and he talks about it, that he's excited. And then the next day he doesn't care if I'm hungry. He just doesn't care anything about it. And that's, it's hard. But I know the reason why, you know, he doesn't want me to have the surgery because he cares about me and he doesn't want anything to happen to me. But it's, it's still hard. Um, of course, my mom, she's awesome. I called her on Friday because I was crying and she's like, what's wrong? And I was like, I'm just so hungry. So she brought me over. Um, some ribs that they made and you know just some sausage and some eggs and a few things like that um, I don't think I'll probably eat the sausage or the ribs just because I think they're high in fat but she's always very supportive and that's one thing I'm really lucky is that my mom is there for me 100% no matter what I do but I just want to say that whoever says this journey is the easy way out they are so wrong this was, this was some, like one of the hardest weeks of my life, and I don't regret it. I know it's for a good reason, but that doesn't mean it's not hard. But, yeah, it's been tough, but, you know, if I can do it, I know anyone can do it, and, yeah. But thank you guys so much. <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching this video this week of my first week of pre-op. It's been, it's been easier and harder than I thought, kind of both. Some days were easy, some days were so hard. And just thank you so much for everyone that is going to support me on the journey and everyone who likes my videos. It means the world to me. It's kind of my way of venting and showing off since I can't really do it around the person that I love.